And we're back in this dungeon for another Lane College Lady Dragons basketball game. Tonight, they will be facing off against Christian Brothers University. Both teams coming to the game 0-2. Both teams coming to the game 0-2. Both teams are uh, in the huddle, getting words of encouragement. <clears throat> About to get, uh, get ready for the national anthem, so we'll take a quick break and uh, come back after that. Maybe Jawan will take a knee tonight. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Context. Starting off for Christian Brothers. We have number two, Michaela Blissett. Guard, 5'9 guard from Orange. We also have number 11, Emily Reeves. No, Kenzie Jones, I apologize. 5'5 five, five guard out of Park Hill, Missouri. Number 12, Emily Reeves, a guard out of Somerville, Tennessee. We have number 20, Kelsey Atkinson, 5'10 guard out of Lawrenceburg.
and now introducing the Lady Dragon. Starting at, at point guard, we have Antrice McCoy, number 10, out of Jacksonville, Arkansas. And number 11, Anicia May, shooting guard out of Jackson, Mississippi. Nakia Lane, number 21, playing small forward out of South Haven, Mississippi. Christy Arnwood playing guard out of Jackson, Mississippi. And starting night at center, number 50, Ashley Gale out of Atlanta, Georgia. Out of here. Great Should be a pretty exciting contest, don't you think? I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, both teams are coming in tonight with an 0-2 uh, record. Both uh, both playing two, two uh, total of two ball games so far this season. Conference play hasn't started yet. Teams look pretty, pretty even in height, size, pretty competitive game. up. Christian Brothers controls the tip. And number 34, Michaela Enox. He's setting up the offense. Pass the ball to number 11, Kenzie Jones. <laughs> Michaela Blissey passes it to Michaela. And foul is called on number 11. Yep, yeah, on number 11, Anicia May. That'll be her first personal foul. Nine minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. First free throw for Crystal Butters. No good. Hard off the back. Of Second one's up and in. And Chris Darren will inbounds the ball to number 11, Anicia May. And she sets up the half court offense. Falls pass number 50, Ashley Gale, who drives to the basket oh. and loses her footing and turns the ball over. I mean, you need to the ball to set up the offense for the Christian Brothers. That's the McKayla Blissett. Blissett. Balls pass back to number 34, who misses the shot, and the ball is rebounded by Christy Armwood. And Nicia May brings it up the court for Lane College Lady Dragons. Balls pass to Nicia May. Pass to Ashley Gale out on the perimeter. Balls passed out to Nikia Lane, who shoots the three, and it is off and rebounded by. Ash again. And then Treese McCoy. Setting up the offense. Ball pass to Christian Wood. Pass back out to, to Lakia Lane. And the three-pointer's up. And it's off. And over the back foul on Ashley Gill. And number 20, Kelsey Atkins will be inbounding the ball into Kenzie Jones. And she brings it to the court to set up the Christian Brothers half court offense. Hey, looks to be in the zone here. Christian Brothers moving the ball around nicely. Oh, nice. And the ball is stolen by Antrees McCoy. And she takes it all the way to the basket, and it is good. Scores now 2-1. Lane College leading with 7 minutes and 43 seconds to go in the first quarter. That was a pretty impressive uh, defensive stop right there. Yeah, I like how she got the pass. 
Pretty good defense being played by Lion College right now. Yeah, the zone looks to be working. And turnover by Christian Brothers. Number 11, Kenzie Jones with the turnover. She's called for a travel. Now we have a substitution for the Lane Lady Dragons. Number 22, Tia Barlow is now checking into the game. And Ashley Gale subs out. Nice ball move, by the way. Ooh, very nice ball move. And it looked too well right there. She ends up getting called for a travel. Now another turnover by uh, Lady Dragon. Stands out committed by Andrews McCoy. She's just moving a little too fast. That's a good one. Casey Jones brings the ball up. They're pushing those. And three pointers up. Oh. And it is, whoa, what a nice three pointer by number 20. Kelsey Atkins for the Crystal Brothers. Wow, so that was that was a nice. Did she? Do you think she called bank right there? I would have. And nice the shot attempt is good by number eleven, Anicia May. Nice job. Score is now four to four. And Anisia May brings the ball up court for Lane College. What, Steve? And Treese McCoy passes the ball to Lakia Lane, drives to the basket. And the basket is good by Lakia Lane. Scores now 6-6 six to six with 5 minutes and 58 seconds to go in the first quarter. Kayla And the three pointers up. And it is off and rebounded by Alicia Ray. And she gets called for a travel. And a, number 12 drives to the basket, and the shot is off. She gets her own offensive rebound and puts it back up, and it's good by Emily Reeves. Scores now 8-6 to six with 5 minutes, 20 seconds to go in the first quarter, and a timeout is now called by Coach Anderson. And we'll be right back after these messages. We're back in Jets, Tennessee after the timeout. And on the court for lane, we have the 25, Christy Armwood, Entrice McCoy, Nakia Lane, Anicia May, and Ashley Gale. Five minutes and seven seconds to go in the first quarter. Score is 8 6 with Christian Brothers University. Lead. And. Foul call on Christian Brothers. Number 12. 
on number 34, excuse me, on Michaela Enox. Balls inbound to Lakia Lane. Pass into the post to Christy Armwood. And she gets fouled. Anissa May with the inbound. And the ball's inbound to Ashley Gale. Passed up to Lakia Lane. Right back to Antrice McCoy, who's setting up the F-Core offense. Back into the post of Christy Armwood. She backs her down. And with the nice hook shot. And it is off and rebounded by number 20, Kelsey Atkins. Christy pass. And the ball's passed. Into the post, number two, Michaela Blissett. And the three-pointer's up. And it's way off. Right over 34. That one came out. And yeah. Lakia Lane with the three. And it is off and rebounded by Michaela Phoenix. That's good. Ball up. Slowed it down to set up the offense. And the three pointer is up. And it is off and rebounded by number 21, Lakia Lane. That's a nice rebound right there. Since McCoy brings the ball to the court, and they have to have offense. Looks like we have a pair of uh, substitution coming in for both teams. And the shot is off by Anissa May. Okay, Looks like Lane Collins is in some type of zone defense. And it may be man to man. And the rebound is up. And it is off. Can you hear me? Barely. Okay, good. Ball is brought up the court by number 11. And you see Passed out to Ashley Gale on the perimeter. Passed over to. I keep getting her names confused. Pass back out Ooh. to Trees McCoy, and the three point is up. And it is off. And the ball is rebounded by number 11, Kenzie Jones. She brings it up the court, set up the offense. Ball is passed out to number 12. Over to number 34. Kevin Enix passed over to the corner by them. And a nice shot block right there by Christy Armwood. And the three pointer is up, and it is no good. Shot rebounded by Christy Armwood. And now, Latrice McCoy will bring the ball to the court. Score still 8 to 6 with Christian Brothers leading the line college with 2 minutes 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Three pointers up, and it is way off by Nisia May. Kenzie Jones will push the ball up the court. So far, this is a low-scoring game. It's, it's very close, but it's a very uh, low-scoring game, DeAndre. A lot of threes being taken by both teams. And we have substitutions for both teams. For Lane College, we have number zero, Alicia Fordenberry, and number 12, Destiny Irvin, checking in for Lane. And for Christian Brothers, we have... Rafaela and, uh, and we I'm also not, have I'm not gonna butcher that one. And we also have number 15, Jayden Allen checking in for Lane College. And the ball's almost stolen right there by Lakia Lane, but the ball gets rebounded by Alicia Fortenberry, and Lakia Lane brings the ball up the court, setting up the Lane College Lady Dragons out of offense. Ball is passed to Jayden Allen, pass back to Lakia Lane. Looks to drive to the basket. Side spin move. And we have a held ball. And the possession arrow points to Lane College. Score still 8 6 with a minute and 38 seconds to go in the first quarter. Ooh. Ooh nice and move. a nice drive to the basket by Lakia Lane. And the shot is off and rebounded by number 20. A lot of missed shots tonight so far. Yeah, they all seem to be a little too hard. Christian Brothers moving the ball around nicely. And the ball is stolen by Lakia Lane. And a 3 one fast break. And behind the back. And she takes it all the way to the basket. Ball's rebounded by Alicia Fortenberry. Puts it back up. And it's good. 
Scores now. Eight to eight. A minute and four seconds to go. Here in Jackson, Tennessee. And the uh, three pointers up. And it is off and rebounded by Alicia Fortenberry. And the ball is passed to Jade Allen, who takes to the basket. And oh, it's just oh. And the shot is up. And it is good by number 11, Kenzie Jones. Scores now 10 8 with Kristen Brothers leading. With 31 seconds to go in the first quarter, Keel Lane puts the ball up the court. What a what a what a uh, an, an intriguing turn of events right there on those last two possessions. Yeah, It's like we were gonna have a substitution for Christopher as well, and Lakia Lane shoots the ball and it's off and rebounded by Christy Arnwood and she gets fouled by number 13, Rafaela, Rafaela. Angela Dow. Yeah. What a name. It says she's from Greece. Thessaloniki, Greece. Wow. She's a long way from home, DeAndre. Yeah. Long, but long we way. but we have Christy Armwood at the free throw line shooting two. And the first free throw is good. Scores now. Nine to ten. With nine seconds go in the first quarter. Now we have a fifty-five. Shell Misha Barbie. From freshman from Ripley, Tennessee, checking into the game for Christian Brothers. And the second free throw up is up, and it is good. Game is now tied with nine and a half seconds to go. And the first quarter. Ooh, the nice, 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 nice press. And the shot is up, and it is off, and rebounded by Lakia Lane. And that'll be the end of the first quarter here in just Tennessee. Still Lane. Got to shoot that one. The time right now, just see the ball go in the basket. Yeah, you're right about that. Score is tied 10 all. We'll be right back after these messages. Why are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You get some GTA 10. You are not a fast This is looking like And we're back here in Jackson, Tennessee. At the beginning of the second quarter, we have number 13, Rafaela Angel Angela Do Bow. In mind the ball. And it seems to be that we have the same, the same five out there that ended the first quarter, starting out the second quarter. And she backs her down, and the basket is good by Shelby Shabarbi. Scores now 12 to 10. Christian Brothers leading. Jade Allen passes the ball to Destiny Irving. Destiny Irving passes the ball back out to Kia Lane. And Kia Lane draws the ball to the basket, and the shot is up, and it is good. Nice little floater. That was nice. Off the basket. Christian Brothers the ball. Looking to set up the offense. Trying to find something to get around this Lane College zone that has kind of been slowing them down. All That's pretty good defense Ooh. being played by Lane right now, too, DeAndre. Zone seems to be working. And the three pointer is up. And it is off. And she gets her own rebound, but can't get control of it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Turn on. Like Hodge Ball. And Bri by turnover committed by Brian Little. And we have substitution. 
We have substitutions for Lane College. We have number 11, Anisia May, checking back into the game. Also, we have number 22, Tia Barlow, and number 10, Andrees McCoy. Looks like we have the starting five back out here. Uh, See you know they put some more points on the board. Yeah. Game's been pretty close. Oh, bad pass. And the ball is almost stolen away by Shelmy Shabarbi, but the ball will. Oh, oh. well. When the referees say that the Lane College Lady Dragons, it was last touched by Lane College. So that's another turnover for Lane College. And number 22, Brianne Little brings the ball, of course, up the half court offense for Christian Brothers. Ball is passed out to number 12, Emily Reeves. Oh, Ooh, nice pump fake. Ball is passed out to number 34. Ooh. Michaela and the three point is up. It is good. I think that's the first one that's falling today. I, I, I think it has. Nice shot right there by the uh, the fella. Number 33 out of uh, Greece. Scores now 15 to 12. Eight minutes, 10 seconds to go. Ball passed out to Ashley Gale from Tia Barlow. Tia Barlow passed the ball to Nikia Lane. Ball is passed out to Andrews McCoy. Nikia Lane sets the screen. Ball is passed out to Anisia May. And the three point is up. And it is good. And the score is tied once again at 15. It's seven minutes and 50 seconds to go. Well, we said it's yeah. going to be a competitive game. So. I see. And the basket is up, and it's good by Shell. Misha Barbie. Score is now 17 to 15. Yeah, I think this is this is this this is going to this is turning out to be a pretty good game so far, DeAndre. Neither team can just get away from the other on the scoreboard. And the Ooh. shot is up by Ashley Gale, and it is. Off and rebounded by number 22, Brianna Little. She brings it up the court and takes it all the way to the basket. And it is good by Brianna Little. Wow, what a turn of events. Score is now 19 to 15. Christian Brothers leading with seven minutes and nine seconds to go in the first half. And the shot is up and it is off. Rebounded by Brianna Little. The, the Lady Dragons are, are starting Ooh, to struggle. And the three-pointer is up, and it is off, and no, and it's rebounded. And pass back out to number 13, and the rebound is off, and the ball is rebounded by Anicia May, and she draws the foul. Looks like we'll have some substitutions right about. Yeah. Yes, sir. And looks like we'll be having Christy Armwood, number 25, and... Checking in for the first time tonight for the Lane College Dragons, number 33. Kira Martin, shooting guard. Junior out of Macomb, Mississippi. And Trees McCoy brings the ball up the court. One thing I can say about this Christian Brothers team is on offense, they rebound the ball well and they do a lot of moving. Yeah, I've the noticed ball. they they're very energetic. Got a lot of stamina. They're constantly moving around the court. Like what I'm seeing so far from, from both teams, but especially Christian Brothers. Not going to be biased, you know? Can't be biased. Yeah, it looks like Christian Brothers. And the three pointer's up. And it is off. And rebounded by Christian Brothers. Ball goes the other way with six minutes and nine seconds to go in the first half. Oh. And the Lane College Lady Dragons are, are they're struggling tonight, you know, shooting the ball. And. Oh. A little scoop shot almost. Ball is passed up to Rakia Martin who passes it back out to Patrice McCoy. Oh, oh, ankle breaker badge, 2K out here. And the three-point is up by Rakia Martin, and it is off and rebounded by number 22, Tia Barlow, and they get a fresh shot clock. And Patrice McCoy sets up the offense. Passes out to Anisia May, back out to Patrice McCoy, right over to Christy Armwood, who shoots the three, and it's up. And it's off and rebounded by Tia Barlow. That's off as a rebound. And back up. Oh. And the basket is good. Barlow is really down there working. Getting rebound. She's a, she's, a, she's a scrappy, she's a scrappy young gal down there in the paint. Getting them off as a rebound. Scores right. now. Oh. Pass out Ooh. to number 22. Isn't and it? it is good. Three-pointer made by Brian Little. Scores now. Christopher Brothers 22. Ryan College, 17. With four minutes and 58 seconds to go in the first half. Oh. And 
Double dribble. Another turnover by Lane College. And it seems to be that we have a timeout on the floor. Score is now 22 to 17 with four minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first half. After that timeout, uh, Christian Brothers has the ball. Ooh, three pointer. Good by Kenzie Jones. Jade Allen bringing the ball up in the drive. Ooh, stolen by Kenzie Jones. Stop, pop. And shot down. Hey, I do need a picture too. But it is tipped out of bounds by Miss <laughs> Lane. For real. I'm on my Paul Pierce and Chauncey Dillon's ish, you feel me? Taylor Rose. Christian Brothers will inbound the ball under their basket. And the ball's inbounded to number 34, Michaela Inox. And the three pointer is up. In there. And it is good. Once again, another three pointer by Brianne Little. I'll tell you, DeAndre, this Brianne Little is something else. Yeah. And the score is now 28 to 7. Of First time either team has been up by double digits tonight. She's really uh, creating a spark off the bench for Christian Brothers. Yeah, she, 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 she's really doing her, th her thing thizzle. She's doing her thing tonight. And Christy Onwood turns the ball over for Lane College. It's a turnover for Lane College. Score is 28 to 17. With In there. Whoa. Oh. Heat check. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And Ooh. a nice rebound and post move. And. Another timeout is called by Lane College. Scores now 30 to 17 with three minutes 42 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, the, the girls, the girls out the, the thing, girl, they they they're looking oh, rather they're, they're shooting themselves in the foot, I'm gonna say that. Yes, they yes they are. This is I'm telling you, this is a very winnable game for uh both teams, you know. But it's, it's, it's up to the to the players, you know, to to come out here and, and, and execute the plays that are uh, you know that, 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 that the coaches are, are are calling out. They have to come out here and they have to execute. That's definitely true. Uh, to me, it seems like the team with the least amount of turnovers at the end of the game will most likely win. Yeah, that's that's usually how it goes, you know. But we're here back with. Christy Armwood at the top of the key. Pass the ball out to Alicia May. Pass the ball back out to Alicia Ashley Gale. Pass the ball to Lakia Lane, who draws the foul. And the foul is called on number 11, Kenzie Jones. That'll be her, I don't know, personal foul. But, yeah. Ball be. Hand checking there, right? Yeah, know. hand checking, yeah. Sure ball is inbounded to Ashley Gale, who gets double teamed. Paul's pass back out to Kia Lane. We'll pass it out to Andrews McCoy. Looks like we're going to have a substitution for Crystal Brothers. Looks like Shelmisha Barbie will be checking back into the game. Anisia May drops to the basket, and the basket is good. Nice layup right there good by May. Anisia May. Scores now 30 to 19 with Crystal Brothers leading with three minutes remaining. And there goes that baby. Somebody get that baby. They got the baby. And the uh, she gets fouled. Lisa May draws the foul. Excuse me. And Therese McCoy. I keep getting them confused right there, DeAndre. I keep getting them confused. Their numbers are just 
You know, I keep replacing that zero with a one, and that other one with a zero. Uh, it yeah, it looks like we're gonna have another. Butchering names. Yeah. I try though. I try my hardest. Try, try to avoid it. I try. I do too. Looks like we're gonna have some more substitutions for Christian Brothers. We have number twelve, Emily Reeves, checking back into the game with two minutes fifty-one seconds to go in the first half. College inbound in the ball. Throws it out to Lakia Lane. He passes to Antrees McCoy. McCoy to May. May drives and the basket oh. is up and is off. Floater a little too hard there. Pushing with the ball, pushing it up the court. Brian Little and a three pointer is oh oh, oh. almost called for a travel. But Brian Little grabs the ball from her teammates Emily Reeves, and the ball is tipped by. Kia Lane, but I can hear our band. They're somewhere. Is the band playing? Oh, the right? is up, and it is off and rebounded and passed to the Kia Lane. And the ball is up, and the Kia Lane draws the shooting foul. Yeah. Score still 30 to 19 with two minutes and eight seconds to go. Look in her eyes. She was determined to get all the way to the basketball. Yeah, it looked like she really wanted to get that in one. Oh, yeah. Looked like she was pretty determined. <laughs> yeah. First free throw up and good for the kid Lane. And the key Lane is at the free throw line. Shoot. And looks like Akia Lane splits the free throws, and the score is now 30 to 10. I mean, 30 to 20, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, and nice the ball hit. is stolen by Antrice McCoy, and she drives it to the basket for the layup, and it is good. That was the nice lead has been slimmed down to eight. With Lane College having 22, and Crystal Brothers having 30, with a minute and 39 seconds to go in the first half. It may get a little hard to hear in the gym as our band is coming into the gym right now. And the three point is up. No and it is off and rebounded nice by Alicia May. And then Therese McCoy. I got her name right this time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Paul gets passed back to her. Uh -huh. Ball's passed out to Ashley Gale. Ball's passed to Lakia Lane, drops to the basket, and the shot is up, and it is good. Timeout is called. Scores now 30 24 with Crystal Brothers leading. That's with a minute and five either. seconds to go in the first half. And now uh, we will be ready right back after these short messages. journey with us to a world connecting you to your college. With a world that is changing at a rapid pace and is technology driven, the Mass Communication Department provides valuable news and information to the public. Providing commentary, entertainment through film, radio, television. You can count on the Mass Communications Dragons to keep you on your toes and in the know of the latest activities going on on campus on all social sites. WLCD, the voice of the Dragons. Oh, back to the action. Christian Brothers with the ball. Less than a minute. And the ball the passed Ooh. in to number 12. Kizzy Jones. I think I got it right. Nope. Emily Reeves. And the score is now 32 to 24 with 45 seconds to go in the first half. That was a nice give and go by Christian Brothers right there. Yeah, that was that was a very nice possession. The three brothers up. Oh. And it is off and rebounded. Oh, by Brianne Little. Wow, this off. Brianne Little was everywhere on the court. And the, whoa, nice pump fake. Drop to the basket by oh. Emily Reeves. The, the shot is off and is rebounded by number 25. It's the Armwood. 25 seconds to go. Shot clock has been turned OFF. That spells off, you know. And Lakia Lane passes the ball back to Trees McCoy, who passes it back to Anisia May, who passes it to 
Back to Ashley McCoy, back to the KLA. And the screen set by Christian Wood, and the shot is up, and it is off. Not too hard. And that'll be the end of the first half here in Jackson, Tennessee, at Lyon College. Christian Brothers University is leading 32. And Lyon College is trailing 24. And we'll be right back after halftime. Both teams are shooting over 50% from the free throw line. And, uh, yeah. So what are you expecting the, out of both teams here in the uh, second half, DeAndre? Um, for Lane, I definitely think they're going to come out more intensely on the defensive side as we've seen it start to pick up before they have ended. And for Christian Brothers, by the way they're shooting threes, I don't think they're going to stop or slow down anytime soon. And we're back live here with the start of the second half, third quarter. Christian Brothers leading 32, Lane College 24, and we have number 11, Anisia May, inbound the ball. And she inbounds the ball to number 25, Christy Armwood. And we are live. Boss passed out to Anisia May on the perimeter. Passes back out to Lakia Lane. Passes out to Andrews McCoy. Down on the block to Ashley Gale. Back out to Anisia May. And the shot is up. And it's off and rebounded by Ashley Gale with a fresh shot clock. And then Therese McCoy sets up the half-court offense for the college. I like how she's very patient on offense with the ball. Yeah, I, I, I like that too. She's she's not just forcing it. She's using all, all of the shot clock. And Ooh. Nisia May with the behind the back. And, and Therese McCoy with Ooh. the three-pointer in the top. In there. And it is ah. out. And it is rebounded by Krista Brothers. And she gets fouled by Ashley Dale. And the rebound was by number 20. Kelsey Atkins. Score still 32 to 24 with nine minutes and nine seconds to go here in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Christian Brothers setting up the offense. Have and the three point is up by Kelsey Atkins, and it is off and rebounded Five. by Christian Brothers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Kenzie wow, Jones wow. Christian Brothers. Wow. Although a lame player had it first. Oh, wow. nice cut. Oh. That Kenzie Jones, number 11? I believe so. And the pass oh. is out to number 12. Emily Reeves. And the rebound is up and brought down by Ashley Gale. That was a nice, uh, solid rebound right that there. That was a very nice box out. Nice box out. Yeah, that's what I like to see from either team. Any player working hard. And it's a 22 seconds ago in the, second, in, the, in, the, in the third quarter. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Ball passes up to Lakia Lane. Seven, six. Ball passed in to Christy Armwood. And maybe she wants to shoot the ball right about now. And a nice yeah. hook shot off the basket. And it is good by Christy Armwood. Scores now 32 to 26. With Christy Brothers oh. leading. Oh. And Ashley Gale with the nice pass deflection. Looks like we're also going to have a substitution. Coming in, checking into the game for Lane College for the very first time tonight is number 31, Emanuela Izobi. I think I said it right. Exobe from Atlanta, Georgia, who is a transfer from Stormont College. And we also have another substitution. Number 33, Kira Martin, out of Macomb, Mississippi. 
that's uh, down there in the Delta. If any of you people uh, out there listening or watching didn't know, and the foul is committed by number 33 for Kira Martin. So they are calling hand checking both ways. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I like physical defense as long as they're not, you know, drawing blood, punching, scratching. Yeah, you know what I think? I think basketball today, it's been watered down and the three pointers up, and it is off by Crystal Brothers and a nice rebound by Rakira Martin who brings it up the court on the fast break for the Lion College and Dragons, who brings it back out and passes the ball to Andrews McCoy who gets ready to set up the offense. Pass out to Ashley Gale. Who and another turnover by Wayne Holland. Oh, there it goes. And oh. kick ball so close. Ball remains with Lane Collins. Score still 32 26. Seven minutes 20 seconds to go in the third quarter with number 11, Kenzie Jones, checking into the game, who inbounds the ball to 34. Michaela Enox. Enox. Yeah. Emily Reeves passes out to Kelsey Atkins, Atkins to Enoch. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Five, four, three. Got to the basket, and the shot is up. Oh. And it is oh. off and rebounded by Patrice McCoy. And they're on a fast break, 2 on one fast break. Ball's passed to Lakia Lane, who goes up. And, and one! one! Nice air one basket right there. By number 21, Lakia Lane, Lane College. Scores now 32 to 28. With six minutes and 57 seconds to go in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. That was a nice drive to the basket right there, DeAndre. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe that, that A1 right there and the conversion of this three-point play will put a spark into the rest of her teammates. And the shot is up. And it is good. I Three like point. the concentration to get the bucket even though the foul. Yeah, I think she has that uh, relentless finisher badge. Yeah, she just yeah, she has that relentless oh, finisher badge. Oh. Whoa. That was a nice gamble, it just didn't pay nice off. Nice defense being played right here. And the shot is, and the ball is passed down to number 34 and it's up. And Ooh. it is good. Wow. Another three point score by Christian Brothers and that basket was made by Michaela at Inos. And the score is now 35 to 29 with Chris Rogers leading with six minutes and 28 seconds to go in the third quarter. Looks like we're going to have a substitution as well. Looks like an ECMA is going to be checking back into the game. Lane College, ball's passed out to Rakeem Martin. Three pointers up, and it is off, and it's rebounded once again. Uh, Emily Reeves, she, she brings it back up the court. Looks like she's going to take it all the way. Nope, she's passing it back out, and she passes it back to Michaela, Michaela Bissett. Passes it out to Chris Jones, out to Michaela Enoch. Pass out to Back to McKenna Ennis. The three ball is up. And it is off. And another impressive offensive rebound by Michaela Blissett. And they get a fresh shot. Yeah, this uh, Christian Brothers team is just. Yeah, they're, they're pretty fast. Offense. They're pretty quick. And looks like they turn the ball over. Three second call. Dude. And we have a pair of substitutions for Lane College. Looks like we're going to have uh, Christy Armwood and Anisha May checking back into the game. And we have Alicia Fortenberry checking back into the game as well. Looks like they just put in, put back in those uh, those three new recruits from the state of Mississippi. And then, you know, I've, I've noticed, DeAndre, that, you know, it looks like uh, the assistant coach, who I believe is also, like, the recruiting coordinator for the program, Lane College Girls Basketball Program, looks like, you know, He's, he, he decided to go ahead and go to these winning progr JUCO programs down in Mississippi and get these uh, fantastic players who found great who, who found good success down there playing in the uh, Mississippi's uh, JUCO system. Yeah, I, I think I think he likes that uh, that program, that JUCO programs down yeah, there. Yeah, they have they they. I'm, oh. And the three point is up and it's good by Antrice McCoy. And the score is now 35 to 32 with. Five minutes to go. Looks like Lane's put on the full court pressure. Hey, steal. And a steal by Alicia Farnberry, and it's a four on two fast break. Alicia Farnberry takes it all the way. And oh. the basket is good. And Crystal Brothers are now leading 35 to 34 with four minutes and 49 seconds to go in the third quarter. And foul. A foul on number 11.
That was a nice turn of events right there, last nice two possessions. It looks like we have a timeout on the floor as well. That that definitely is nice. Nice. Nice, nice little round that Lane College right is on. And score right now, 35 to 34, with Lane College, I mean with Lane College trailing by one point with four minutes and 42 seconds to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Attention students, basketball season is about to start. Don't miss your chance to be a part of Lane College Media Team as we cover the game all season. Come on a journey with us to a world connecting you to your college. With a world that is changing at a rapid pace and is technology driven, the Mass Communication Department provides valuable news and information to the public, providing commentary, entertainment through film, radio, television. You can count on the Mass Communications Dragons to keep you on your toes and in the know of the latest activities going on on campus on all social sites. WLCD, the voice of the Dragons. And we're back after the timeout. And the first free throw is missed by number 13, Rafaela and, and your little Lotto. Yeah, I'm just going to start calling her by her first name, now, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, she splits the free throws. And the Christian Brothers now have a two-point lead with four minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. And Trees McCord brings the ball up the court. Sets the offense, long fast to Christy Armwood. And turnover once again by Lane College. Uh, legal screen, I want to say. Uh, Alicia Fortenberry, double zero. I believe so. She looked a little hot. She's hot got, she just got to set her feet there. Yeah. Get her feet set, she'll be all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dragons with this full court pressure is really creating some turnovers. Oh my goodness. Number 13 is really doing work down there in the post. She really is. She's doing the thing thizzle. I don't think she stopped moving. Ball pass to Michaela Blissett. Pass back oh. out to McKay to Enox. And three ball is up by Enox. And balls corralled. Even the rebound goes to Entrice McCoy. Ball's passed up to Anisia May. And she I like that. I like that. Yeah, I've never seen that one right there. She just you know what I'm saying? Intentionally did a kick ball, but hey. I, I'd rather uh, kick the ball and have him take it out of bounds than risk getting an easy pass and easy bucket. So I like it. I like it. Facts, 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 facts. Ball's in battle to number double zero. At least for Mary. Passes out to. I'll the oh. And another turnover by Lane Cavalry Dragons. That is another foul on Alicia Fortenberry. I don't know what she's doing on those screens, but they're getting it for her. She's got to focus. She's got to focus, DeAndre. She's got to focus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice trap. Oh. And uh -oh. she splits the numbers. trap, and the three-point is up. In and it's good. Another three-pointer by Brianne Little. She checks into the game, and she's shooting them three-pointers again, DeAndre. She got right in the game and fired one to see if she I'm was telling you, hot. she's... That, that girl, heat check, and the pass oh, is in, oh, and oh, oh, oh. cards wide. Another foul on Alicia Fortman. She is probably going to have to come out of the game and as she picks up three quick ones. She gets subbed out, and Ashley Gale. That time it was a charging foul as she drove to the basket and dumped the pass off. Yeah. Scores 39-34 with Crystal Buck leading with three minutes, 22 seconds to go in the third quarter. And nice defense, and oh. they draw another foul. Wow. A lot of fouls and a lot of turnovers right here in the third quarter. Throws up by number 13, Rafaela. 
She has one more free throw. To shoot. Yeah. And she spits the free throw. Scores now 40 to 34 with three minutes and 17 seconds to go in the third quarter. And she's McCoy brings the ball up the court. Setting up the offense. Oh, oh. oh. Ball's passed out to NECMA. And she draws the foul. Number 34, Michaela Inox with the defensive foul. <laughs> That's funny. She shook her head. She fouled her, too. Anissa May with the inbound pass into Christy Armwood. Christy Armwood passed the ball to Antrice McCoy. Oh, oh. And pass back out to Antrice McCoy. Oh, pass it back out to Anissa May with the three-pointer and it's up. In the, and ah. it is off. And the ball really rebounded by Casey Jones to bring the ball up the court. Oh. And a, whoa, whoa, whoa there. And the okay. ball out of bounds right there. Scores 40 34 with two minutes 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Christian Brothers can bounce the ball. Oh, wide open. Fires it. And it is good. Nice three pointer shot there by number 34, Michaela Inox. I don't think it touched the rim at all. It really didn't. It was a that was a really pretty jump shot. It went with the kiss. That was about as pure as you can do. I had to do, I had to do my, uh, my uh, CBS, my, my CBS Dick Vitale and uh, what's his name, Ernie Johnson? Yeah. Yeah, with the kiss. Uh -oh. And the uh, shot is off, but it's rebounded bad. by Ashley Gale. Ball's passed out to Demetrius McCoy. One minute and 56 seconds to go in the third quarter. Laying down by nine points, 43-34. And Lakia Lane takes the ball Ooh. to the basket. Charles no the foul. Ah, no M1. She's tough when she's driving to the basket, man. I'm telling you, she, she's a bruiser. She's a she's a scrapper. She's she, she's very tough. I tell you, I, I did, did some studying on this young lady in the offseason when I first heard about her, uh, you know what I'm saying, getting recruited. Coming uh, to play for Lane. And she she won uh MJC AA. Conference Player of the Week honors uh, a couple of times, you know. Averages were, uh, I think it were 36 points. I think it were like four or five rebounds, six assists, three or four steals, something like that. But she makes the first free throw. She makes the first free throw. Looks like we're gonna have a switch here at the at the, at the the broadcast table. Gonna have uh, my brother man, Mr. Justin Robinson joining me. How you doing, sir? How you doing? What's going on, man? Nice to have you down here with me, man. Yeah, it's nice to be down here. I had to come kick it with you. I had to come out of the production oh, room, the production side of there and come over here and kick yeah. it with you. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Juwan, man? Doing pretty good, man. This is a pretty good ball game right here. Yes, it is. These ladies are working. I'm telling you, Lane, we're down by one and whoa. Nice three-pointer right there by Michaela Enox. I'm that was you, a nice wow. three pointer. This this is a this is a game right here. Yeah, and it, all the ladies dragons, uh, their shots are not falling. Yeah, I, this is is kind of like you know the same thing happened in the first half, seven in the second half. They just just can't find the the ball. Just can't seem to 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 you know saying go down that down that hoop. I know, I know, I know. I fixed it. <laughs> And I fixed it. <laughs> and and uh, and Chase McCoy, we go to the free throw line for Lane College to shoot not one, but those free throws. And the first one is very good. Scores now 46 to 37 when Chris Brothers leading with a minute and 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. <laughs> and the second free throw is good. And it is now back down to a single. Digit lead. The Christian Brothers leading by eight points with a minute and seven seconds to go in the third quarter. And I, you know, Justin, I'm out. Oh, Ooh. she's travel. Travel. Turnover <laughs> by Christian Brothers. You can't do that. That you was can't. a. That was a like. You can't. And you <laughs> she know, tried that one. <laughs> really, she tried it. But you know, I didn't notice that we had a substitution. 
Number two, Diamond Love checked in for the first time tonight from Louisville, Mississippi. Is it Louisville or Mississippi? I don't know that. Yes, yes, there is. I, I, I played high school ball down in Mississippi in Loosedale. It's nowhere near Louisville, but I just know it's a small town down there. But she's they they, they recruited her from uh Coma. Coma's down there uh, in the Delta. Okay. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have a substitution for Lane College. Whoop, oh, oh, looks like Coach Anderson changed her mind. But we have a <laughs> foul on the floor. And I believe Lane College is in the bonus. But we will have a substitution for Christian Brothers, though. But at the free throw line, we've had number 25, Christy Armwood out of Jackson, Mississippi, by way of Hines Community College. At free throw line, shooting two. And the first free throw is good. This is very enjoyable. Yes. <laughs> I really can say that. Watching this game right now. Yeah, I'm telling you, it really is. This, this is only the third game of the season, and, and conference play hasn't even started yet. And the second free throw is good. Scores now 46 to 40 with a foul on Entrice McCoy. The crowd's tone, the crowd don't seem to like that call. No, nope. huh, they are highly upset with that call by the referees. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Looks like both teams are in the bonus because uh, number 11, Kenzie Jones out of Park Hills, Missouri, will be going to the free throw line for uh, two free throws, but she misses the first one. Score remains 46 to 40 with 46.4 seconds to go in the third quarter. And. She splits the free throw, scores down 47 to 40 with 43 seconds to go. Whoa. What are you doing? I thought she was going to go ahead. I thought oh. she was to win. Drice drive to the basket by Lakia Lane, but no she just couldn't get the bounce. The girls, they, they, they're just struggling tonight. Lane is just really struggling tonight. The ball would just not go. And the three point is up. And it is off. And whoa, rebounded by Brianne Little. And his rebound. Get a rebound by Lakia Lane. No shot clock. And up to down Love with the spin move. Uh, and turnover. Ball's last touch by Lane College. Score still 47 to 40 with eight seconds to go in the third period. This is going to be in the tense fourth quarter. Yes, it is. As this game compared to Lane College's first two games, they're playing a lot better. I'll tell you that. And the buzzer beater attempt is off. And at the end of three quarters here in Jackson, Tennessee, we have Christian Brothers leading 47. And Lane yep. College trailing with 40 points. We'll be right back after the commercial. Students, basketball season is about to start. Don't miss your chance to be a part of the Lane College media team as we cover the game all season long. Why are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College, the power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. We're back here in Jackson, Tennessee at Lane College with the beginning of the fourth quarter. Possibly the final period of the, of the game tonight. And Lane 
Coach Anderson has put Akia Lane, Patrice McCoy, Christy Armwood, Ashley Gale, and Anissa May, the starting five, back onto the floor. Scores 47 to 40 with nine minutes and 50 seconds to go. And three-pointer three. is up and good by Kenzie Jones, who celebrates enthusiastically after making that three-point bucket. Scores now 50 to 40 with nine minutes and 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it looks like uh, Christian Brothers is going to live and die by the three-pointer right here. Yeah. And Lakia Lane is off once again. And turnover. Nope. I thought. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the ball's last tip by Lane College. End. End. Ball be inbound. It's a Kenzie Jones, who's doing pretty well tonight. Has out to Brian Little. And the three-pointer is good. She gets the lucky bounce. I'm telling you, DeAndre, this girl is on fire. Yeah, they don't saw, uh, show any signs of letting up. No, nah, they 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 gotta keep putting the points on the board, man. You have to channel my inner uh, Vincent oh, Man right oh, there. Oh. And charge is called. Offensive foul is called on Christy Armwood. Substitution for the Dragons. Alicia Fortenberry in for Christy Armwood. Christian Brothers with the ball, bringing it up the court slowly. Number 13, Rafa Rafaela. With the, oh, charge. Okay. Legal screen. Sorry, not a charge. Lane inbound on the ball. And Teresa McCoy with it, looking to set up the offense for the Dragons. She passes to Lakia Lane. Lane looking. Pass to Alicia Fortenberry. Fortenberry dribbles. Pass it back to McCoy. Oh, McCoy with a nice fade. Sets up the offense. 12 seconds to go on the shot clock. Pass it up to Alicia Fortenberry. And she draws the F O U L. On number 20, Kelsey Atkins, out of redshirt freshman out of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like it's nowhere near here. Balls him out to Ashley Gale, out to Antrice McCoy, who drives the ball to the basket, passes out to Lakia Lang, who shoots the three, ah. and it is off and rebounded by Alicia Formberry. The ball's back up and oh, puts back rebound. up, and she draws the foul. That is what I like to see out of any of these girls on either side of the court. That's what I like to see them doing in, in the post, I giving mean, them rebounds, man, being, being physical, aggressive. 808 left in the game, and they're only down 13. Technically, they're still in it. Yes, technically, this is college sports, and anything can happen. And she misses the first free throw. She has one more to go. Lisa Formberry is a junior transfer out of Tylertown, Mississippi. Oh. She played her previous college ball at High School College down in Jackson, Mississippi. And a nice defensive trap right there by Lane. And the three-point is up. Oh. And it is off and rebounded by Kristen Brothers. And the position arrow is with Lane Collie. Really nice. Really nice hustle right there. Yeah, that was definitely a nice hustle to get a jump ball call. I believe we're supposed to have a towel boy for that. The player shouldn't be out there uh, wiping the floor. You know, DeAndre, I'm, I was going to crack a, a really good joke, but I'm going to keep it mild on this one. I ain't going to make the joke too spicy. This is Division II, uh, Shia Conference. This is this, this in uh, Kentucky, you know, <laughs> or uh, UConn. So, yeah. I wish we did have one of those, though. That would be nice. That would be nice. Score still 53 to 40 with. Seven minutes, four seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Ball's passing on these four minutes. Three points up. Hey! Good. Three pointer is up and down with a kiss by Alicia Fornberry. 
Yeah, she's really uh, trying to bring a spark to this uh, Dragons team right now. She's, she's really doing a thing, you know. Oh, and oh, the rebound is oh. And it is off, but rebound about like, and she's McCoy. Lightning. She is very quick and fast and agile. And what a nice defensive rebound by Entries McCoy. Alicia Thornberry in the post, and the basket is up. And go rebound that. the bench was looking for a foul, and she did not get it. Score still 53 to 40, with six minutes and 50 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Chris, oh, and the whoa. Is up. whoa. Deep three. Oh, and okay. it is no off by number three. Oh, Joanna stolen Stolten. by Brienne Little. Well, I'm telling you, this girl right here is amazing. This girl is amazing. Not only did she get the steal, she got the bucket to follow. This girl's got to have about, what's the score now, 55 to 45? This girl's got to have about like 25 of them points. Oh, and nice the three-pointer is up, and it is good. Three-pointer is made by. Three nice three-pointer. She's trying to bring him back. That was a deep three. I like it. Very deep. She has, I think she has limitless, she has a limitless range band. Oh, good oh. defense right there. And. Ah, let's go. Yeah. yeah. All right. And that's nice, impressive defense right there. And a timeout is called by Lane Collins Lady Dragons. And the score is 53 to 48 with Crystal Brothers leading with five minutes and 59 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. And we're back after that <laughs> long, exhausted timeout. And this Fornberry inbounds the ball to Trish McCoy, brings the ball up the court, looking to set up the Lane College girls, I mean, ladies. Offense. Have a court offense. Ball is passed off to Alicia May. Ooh, with the juke, and the rebound is up. Hey! Oh! Oh! Look at Brianne Little getting the rebound. She is everywhere tonight. I'm telling you, this girl is kind of coming like Andre Karolinko out here if you got, if any of you out there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Stolen by yeah. Ashley Gale. And it is good. Ashley Gale with the steal and the score. Like that hustle right there. And the score is now 55 to 48 to 50. Or is it 48? Lane turning up their intensity. And timeout is called on the court by Christian Brothers. And the score is now 55 to 48 with five minutes and nine seconds to go.
We are back live here in Jackson, Tennessee with five minutes and nine seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Christian Brothers still leading, 55-48. Christian Brothers inbounding the ball. <laughs> Kenzie Jones with the ball, controlling the offense for Christian Brothers. Pass it down low. Oh, And the ball is stolen by Lisa Fortenberry. And it is being pushed up the floor by Alicia Fortenberry. And, and the three point is up. Hey. And oh. it is out. Oh. Ball's rebounded by Brianne Little. Another rebound from Brianne. Does she have like a she should have like a double double by now? Yeah. She might be the player of the game. Oh uh, yeah, I, 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 would, I would give her the player of the game. I was just, and Trevo. Turnover committed by Christian Brothers. Number 13. Rafaela. Lane College bringing the ball up. Antrice McCoy, Antrice McCoy controlling the offense for the Dragons. She passed to Anissa May. May passed to Fortenberry. Fortenberry looking. Passes it to Lakia Lane. Lane passes it to Ashley Gale. Who passes it back to Lane. Screen by Gale. And Lane, the shot stops. is up. And it oh. is off. Lakia Lane. And she just, she, she's struggling tonight. She's just Kenzie struggling. The ball and... The Pretty lazy defense right there by Lane Blissett College. With a bucket. Looks like we're going to have some solutions for both teams at the next available break. Anissa May with the ball for the Dragons. She passes it down low to Fortenberry. Fortenberry posting up. Oh. And oh. she draws the blocking foul. I'm telling you, this Alicia Fortenberry, ever since she got those three personal fouls earlier, at, I think it was in the, in, the, in, the, in the third quarter and they sat her down. She's yeah. getting back in the game and made an immediate impact. She's really out there working hard and trying her very best. That is what I like to see. She's out there giving 101%, not 100%, not 99.9, 101%. Yeah, she looks like the motor for this team. Um, she went down early with three fouls. Mm -hmm. And now that she's back in the game, she's uh, missing the first free throw. And, um, now that she's back in the game, she's uh, creating some havoc for mm -hmm. Christian Brothers. And for Christian Brothers, we have number 34, Michaela Ennels, checking back into the game. And we also have Christy Armwood checking into the game for number 25. I said that. And she makes the second free throw. She splits both free throws. She splits the free throws. They, they, they trip to the free throw. Line. Court. Nice. And oh. Ball almost stolen by Alicia Fortenberry. Christian Brothers still has it. Kenzie Jones pass to McKayla. And everybody's up. Enoch. Oh. And it is off. And Brianna wow, this Brienne little girl is everywhere. And another foul committed by Lane College. And the oh. crowd are letting the crowd, the, the, the fans are just letting them hear it. They're just letting the referees hear it. And Michaela Blissett. Out of senior guard out of Oran, Missouri. That foul was on Alicia Fortenberry. I believe that's her fourth. And the first free throw is up and it's good. Second free throw up and in. And we have a substitution. I guess we'll be checking back into the game for Alicia Fortenberry, who will be getting a uh, rest. She's been working hard tonight. Three minutes, 31 seconds to go right now in the fourth quarter. Uh, Chris DeBose is still leading. 59 to 49. And this is May controlling the ball for the Dragons. You know, DeAndre, at one point, Lane, they came all the way back and were down by one point. And yes. they just, you know, can you know take the lead? And Lakia Lane just throws the ball up and they fight over the ball. And Alicia Lane, Gale gets the ball and it's good. Ashley Gale down there. The refs had a little confusion there. Again, Lane with this full court trap. Balls passed out the. Oh. Brianne Little with Wow, I'm telling you, this girl right here. Stop and pop. <laughs> oh, man, I don't, uh, I don't know where they got this young lady from. But, hey, she's putting in work. She should be starting, honestly. 
in my opinion. You won't believe it, but Breanne Little is actually from Jackson, Tennessee. Wow, so she's actually from here? So yeah. she's a Jackson native, she's playing. This is actually really like a home game for her. And the three point is up by LaKia Lane, and it is off and rebounded by this brothers. Oh. Fast break, Kenzie Jones. We may have an ball all the way to the, to the hole. Basket is up, and it is rebounded. Looks like uh, Lisa Portman will be checking back into the game for Lane Collins. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like we have a player down on the court as well. I did not see that. Uh, that would be. We have an injury timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I can't seem to put a uh, finger on who that could be. Uh, the down player is Lakia Lane. I uh -huh. Okay. I was wondering where number 21 went. Yes, it is. Foul gives her a standing it, ovation. It is good to see her walk off the floor. Under her own, under her own power. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Christian Brothers will inbound the ball under their basket. Emily Reeves inbounding to Kenzie Jones. Jones passes and it to Brian Little. Up. And it is off. I, I believe that one was tipped. She's going to bring the ball to the court. Christian Brothers leads 61 to 51 with two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Almost the man. Yeah. She draws the, what's her name, Anicia May? Yeah. I said that on live. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Anicia May will be going to the free throw line to shoot not one, but two free throws. For Lion College, ladies and gentlemen. One minute, 58 seconds ago. Laying down by 10 points. First free throw was good. There's one more to go. If you look up at the door, you see the men's basketball team coming to catch the end of the game, showing support for the Lady Dragons. You know, it's always good to see uh, the men supporting the, uh, the the ladies team, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just got out of practice. Yeah, I'm working real hard, you know? And they're expected to, you know, win the it's like a conference championship this year. A lot of people are expecting them to win it. You know, they, they, they it was, you know, they, they beat uh, U, UT Martin, University of Tennessee at Martin, yes. in an exhibition game in the preseason, you know. Oh, good shot. And it's off. And Mars rebounded by nice Ashley Dale. Alicia and it's not a set by Alicia Foreman. It is good! And the score is now 61 to 55 with Lane trailing. She really brings a spark to this Dragons team. She really, um, yeah, she has done her thing tonight. She's done her thing. Noticing the difference between when she's on the floor and when she's not on the floor. Uh, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a huge difference. The, the energy level with the, with, the, with the group that's on the floor when she's on the floor, is, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot different. It's a lot different. 
I, I like the energy she brings, offense and defense. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, coach will give her more playing time in the, uh, in the next game, or the game after, you know. Hopefully, she can stay out of foul trouble. That, too. And Another hand checking foul. A lot of hand checking fouls being called tonight. They will inbound the ball right over here in front of us. We have Kenzie Jones inbounding the ball. She passed it to Miss Caleb Blissett. And I believe we have a problem with the shot clock. Yes, they're resetting the shot clock to 28 seconds. And Christian Brothers will re-inbound the ball. Again, they pass to Michaela Blissett. Blissett to Jones. Jones passes to Brianne Little. Little back to Jones. Jones, oh, turnover. The ball was stolen by Lane College. Pass break by Ashley McCoy. And she takes it on to the basket. And his shot is off. And rebounded by Alicia Fortenberry. She puts it back up. And the shot is off. They try to draw a foul, and it appears to be that this game may very well be over. Yeah, ago. 14 seconds. Oh, okay. And they finally foul with 13.2 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter here at Lane College. And uh, fans trying to go home. Uh, uh, another tough loss for Lane, you know. I don't want to just say they lost the game, but uh, they, uh, they, 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 this game's about over. Um, from what I've seen after, uh, after these first three games, well, you know, coming into this game, today's game, DeAndre, the Lane, the, the Lane College has improved a lot. And oh. the three point is up by. That's Reese McCoy, but it is short. And the rebound by Alicia Burberry and Ah, ball rims out. She would shoot too, though. And we'll have a substitution. Michaela e e Enox. Rafaela comes in, and the first shot by Fortenberry is no good. Of this basketball contest here in Jets, Tennessee, between Chris Brothers and Lane College. Chris Brothers wins this ball game, 62. Lane College, 55. We'll head to a quick commercial break, and then we'll have the final game stats for you guys. Basketball season is about to start. Don't miss your chance to be a part of Lane College media team as we cover the game all season long.
are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life, and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College, the power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. Come on a journey with us to a world connecting you to your college. With a world that is changing at a rapid pace and is technology driven, the Mass Communication Department provides valuable news and information to the public, providing commentary, entertaining through film, radio, television. You can count on the Mass Communications Dragons to keep you on your toes and in the know of the latest activities going on on campus on all social sites. WLCD, the voice of the Dragons. We're back, maybe. And we are back here in uh, uh, Texas. Game stats for Christian Brothers. The leading scorer is Brianne Little with 19. Wow, she only had 19? Yeah, she definitely had 19. She had like 35 or something. They shot a 38.6% from the field. They shot 33.3% from the three. 58.3% for the line. Wow. For the Dragons, the leading scorer is Lakia Lane with 15. They shot 35.2% from the field, 21.1% from the three, and 68.4% from the line. There you have it, guys. Those are the end of the game stats for Christian Brothers and for Lane College, and we are out of here. all this speeding what time you gotta be there huh you ain't james bond you ain't some gta character 